Welcome guys to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our videos. So I'm sure by now you guys know about ChatGPT. So today we are going to try something interesting about ChatGPT. Uh, so we are going to uh, make ChatGPT actually act like a Microsoft SQL Server. So what we need to do, we are going to test chat uh, GPT to act as a, a, a database, then we are going to see if we can be able to query. So let's uh, do something. So if we say we can have, we can, we can tell it to imagine, imagine uh, you are a Microsoft, Microsoft, sorry, imagine you are a Microsoft SQL server, I type commands and you reply with result and no other informations or descriptions. So we don't want it to give us inf the descriptions about our, our queries. So we want it to give us results descriptions so we tell it just the result so we just want the result we don't want descriptions about what we are typing so guys let's try if uh, chat gpt will be able to act like a microsoft sql server then when, when we type commands then it replies with the results and no uh, other information or descriptions descriptions uh, we need just the results. We need just the results. So if we press enter, let's do that. Let's see what uh, it will do. You see, it is says, sure, I can respond with the result of SQL commands. Let's get started. Note, for security reasons, I am unable to execute actual SQL commands. Instead, I will provide a hypothetical result based on the SQL uh, syntax used. So guys, so that is uh, our, our command from, uh, our response from chat GPT. So let's do something. Let's assume we execute uh, exec SP uh, databases. Let's see what it will do. So it has listed for us the uh, uh, local system uh, uh, database. So it has actually given us the default uh, databases. So let's see, we can create a database. Let's create a database. So we can say create database students. So if we press enter, Command completed successfully. So it has created a database. Guys, see what ChatGPT can do. So we can now create a, a table. Let's say we create a table. Create table. Then we say users. Then we do this. We say And say user ID. We provide the data type int. We say not null. And we can tell it this is our primary key plus that plus that. We can do name. We can have this as envaca and vaca max we can have this let's say first name first name then data type is in vaca then can say not null then we try another we say middle name Say you can have this as user ID. 
middle name, we have this as Envaca. Envaca. Then run the max. Then not null. We can have a last name. Data type is Envaca. Envaca max. Then we can have email and vaca vaca max then we say not null then we close let's close our query and then so let's see if you have typed in the correct so create table users user id int not null primary key uh, class third comma first name and vaca max not null middle name and vaca max not null last name and vaca max email so you can have these also not null email and vaca not null so if we press enter let's see what chat gpt will do it has executed our it has actually created our table guys so what we need to do let's uh let's see if we can select select star from users you see the query result will be an empty set since the users table has been created but no rows have been inserted into it yet so let's insert some values guys insert into users value so into users values so we need our id then our first name james our middle name Opio, our last name, Combo, then our email, tests at test at gmail dot com. Then we can close, guys. We can close this. So we have inserted. Uh, the user id then our first name our middle name our last name and our email so if we send this one row affected guys so uh let's do select let's see select select star from users Guys, it has given us the table. You can see the user ID, first name, middle name, last name, and the email. So it has actually given us the record. So we can actually uh, copy this and change some values. You can say this is two, James one, 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 test one, then press send it again. One row affected. Let's see if we can be able to see the number of rows paste the command there then send it send it guys it has given us the two records you can see we have the the first record and the second record wow this is this is very interesting guys so imagine you have created a table we have inserted values and it is able to give us a results guys imagine what this is uh, happening so guys i think for today we can leave it there 
Uh, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous uh, videos. Uh, see you in our next uh, video.